Good afternoon here. Today's news headlines. 78 year old dies in St. Elizabeth fire. Man gunned down in back wall. Clarendon man mobbed after using fake gun in robbery charge. 19 year old charged with forcible abduction. Vendor killed seven injured in Westmoreland market truck. And cops stolen service gun. Large quantity of almost seized in Journey Park. Details coming up right after the break. Leroy Hamilton, a 78-year-old resident of Huntley Castle in St. Elizabeth, died as a result of injuries he sustained in a fire at his home on Thursday. The New Market Police say about 2.20 a.m., residents saw smoke coming from the dwelling and alerted the police and the fire department. On their arrival, cooling down operations were conducted and Hamilton's charred remains were found among the debris. The scene was processed and the remains were removed to the morgue pending post-mortem. An investigation is underway in the murder of a man at Church Street Road, Bogwalk in St. Catherine on Friday. The deceased has been identified as O'Neill Brown at a wilds called Old Bog, a 34-year-old labor of Pineapple Lane, Bogwalk. About 2 p.m., Brown was reportedly walking along the roadway when a car drove up and the occupants fired shots hitting him. Brown reportedly ran a short distance and collapsed and died from his injuries. No motives have been established for the Brown killing. Are you tired of browsing all over the latest happenings in Jamaica? Discover it right here on Jamaica News online TV YouTube channel. Foreigner home and you want to be in touch with the happenings in Jamaica? Guess what? You are in the right place. We bring you reactions to the latest news at 6 a.m., 12 noon, and straight up news at 6 p.m. Ask and you shall receive, guys. So if you are watching this video, like, subscribe, comment, or share, hit that subscribe button and remember to comment below with your thoughts. Guys, make sure you come back again and again to watch our videos. Remember, 6 a.m., 12 p.m., and 6 p.m. We are always here to give you man was mobbed after using a fake gun to rob three persons in Mepen Clarendon has been charged by the police. 33-year-old Ronald Watson, otherwise called Rolando, a laborer of Woodside District in the Paris, is charged with three counts of robbery with aggravation, unauthorized possession of a prohibited weapon, and using a prohibited weapon to commit a felony. Watson is already before the court in relation to another robbery. He was charged on Wednesday. The police report that about 11.45 p.m. Watson brandish a black object resembling a handgun and held up and robbed three persons along Church Street in Maypen. He robbed them of personal items including four cellular phones and a total of $150. It is alleged that one of the victims realized the object was not a real firearm and raised an alarm. The victim then started to chase Watson and solicited the help of residents who were along the roadway. He was forced to stop by residents who mobbed him. He was searched and the phones were found in his possession. Watson was later rescued by the police and taken into custody and interviewed. He gave a caution statement to the police in the presence of Justice of the Peace confessing to the crime. His court date is being finalized. A 19-year-old St. James man has been charged with the attempted RAPE of a minor who was making her way from a shop. Charged with forcible abduction, attempted RAPE and SEXUAL touching off a child is Marlon Samuels. The incident happened on Wednesday, January 10th. The Montego Bay police report that about 4 p.m. the minor was on her way from a nearby shop when she saw Samuels at a house. He reportedly told her to come over to the house, but she refused and continued walking. Samuels allegedly grabbed her by her hands, pulled her inside the house and locked the door, following which he assaulted her. The minor bit Samuels on his hand and managed to escape, according to the police. She reported the incident to her mother, who took her to the police center of investigation for 
sexual offenses and child abuse. Samuels was subsequently arrested and later pointed out in an identification parade, which was held on Wednesday, January 24th. His court date is being arranged. A male vendor was killed and seven others injured, including a child in a market truck crash in Holly Hill, Darlistan, West Milan, yesterday morning. Counselor for the Darlistan Division, Jerome Bacchus, told the Gleaner that the injured persons are being treated at the Savalamar Hospital in the parish. It is reported that they were traveling in an Izuki truck destined for the Savalamar market when about 5.30 a.m. the vehicle reportedly careened off the road and crashed. The driver reportedly lost control while maneuvering a steep incline. Eighty-nine rounds of ammunition and a policeman stolen service pistol were seized in a police operation in Sherlock Crescent, Duny Park, St. Andrew on Thursday. A man was arrested in connection with the find. The police say a check of the gun serial number revealed that the firearm was stolen in Patrick City from a policeman in 21. The gun and ammunition were found during a search of a premises. The operation was conducted by cops from the Public Safety Traffic Enforcement Branch and the St. Andrew South Police. Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below.